Hi there, this is the second in the Lympha DIY series of videos from Midwest Physiotherapy Clinic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to massage your deep lymphatics. If you've watched the first video, you'll actually know why this is important for you to do. So we're going to start basically with the lymphatics of your neck. Um, your head and neck, really. Okay, so I'm going to turn my back to you for a second because the first set of lymphatics actually lie along the base of your skull. Okay, the base of your skull, the whole way over from the center right out to your ear. So starting there, you're going to put two fingers on the base of your skull and you're going to be massaging around in circles. Maybe about 10 good circles. And then you move a little bit wider and do the same just coming off your skull bone, 10 circles around and moving out again, 10 circles around, moving out again and so on, right out to the back of your ear, mastoid process back of your ear there okay so irregardless of where your problem is whether it's legs or arms you do this on first of all one side of your skull and then the other side <clears throat> unless you have localized disease and there is a reason that I don't know about that you shouldn't be actually doing any massage so just remember I'm giving a very general talk um, which would be safe for most people. But if you have any active cancer in other areas, you do need to check. Or if you've had surgeries that might be running across these areas, you do need to check with your own lymphatic therapist just to make absolutely sure. So the next set of lymph nodes, you're going to do that on both sides, okay? Then the next set of nodes, if you look that line from my ear right down to my collarbone, okay? So it's not going in front here where my carotid artery is okay it's that line from my ear down to the notch just above my collarbone so if you see collarbone can't really see it on me I'm not bony enough but anyway my collarbone is there okay you kind of see the base of it there here to collarbone okay so again just under the ear two fingers Massaging around in circles, 10 circles, then moving a bit lower. Now people often would say to me, what kind of pressure do I use when I'm doing this? And I would say, imagine you have a piece of dough and you're trying to put a dent in it. So you're not like pushing the hardest you can. But you, you know you're putting a nice bit of pressure so that you're actually denting the dough so it's that kind of a pressure all right if i was to say out of 10 the heaviness of it for 10 out of 10 is the heaviest you can push and zero is none you're somewhere around a three and a half or a four so it's very light moderate pressure but still it's deeper than skin massage so if you have actually been taught how to self-massage and your skin that's a very light massage the deep lymphatics need a little bit more okay and some of them are actually quite deep so we're just even getting to some of the surface ones so I've gone the whole way down to the outside of my collarbone okay you do the same on the other side so you need to pause this video while you're doing the same on the other side okay the next set are the lymph nodes so I'm actually putting my hand on my collarbone above it and below it and I'm just going to dig in my two fingers like that. So I'm in the notch there. I'm nearly out as far as my shoulder there where my collarbone goes and I'm massaging into that notch. I'm moving my fingers down again. Well, there's different ways of doing this. And my thumb just happens to be there. It's not actually doing anything. I'm just pulling along the skin, putting a small bit more pressure. right along the collarbone above and below it so not actually on the bone just above it just below it right along there 
right along there until I kind of come in. It's for my collarbone ends, okay? <clears throat> and you do the same on the other side. Okay, so all of that, probably going to take you about 10 minutes. Yeah, about 10 minutes. And as I said, irregardless of whether it is your legs or whether it's your arms that are the problem, you really do need to work the neck area there. Okay, so the next area we're going to work on is the lymphatics of the axilla or the armpit. And um, if you've had lymphatics removed or you've had radiotherapy to one of your armpits, then it's best to get specific advice you probably have already from a lymphatic nurse um, or massage therapist. Um, but if it's longer than six months in duration, you know, and you've had no complications, you can follow what I'm doing. However, don't do a full lymphatic massage on the armpit that actually has had treatment to it, okay? Go to your other one. Or in the cases of leg oedema, work on your two armpits in this manner, okay? So first of all, I want you to just feel your armpit, the one that hasn't had any surgery or radiotherapy. It's quite an expansive area, okay? Um, you know, depending on how big your arm muscles are, <laughs> mine are big. Um, so your pectoral muscle, pectoral muscle in the front, that's kind of the front border of your armpit. Your latissimus dorsi, which is that muscle at the back of your armpit, that's kind of the back border of your armpit. So it's, there's quite an extensive area in between it. And then like, you know, it kind of comes from your ribs down there right up to kind of your upper arm muscle. So there's actually quite a large area to be covered, in my opinion. And I get people to massage that area, that whole area, okay? So just get your hand behind your head or on your hip, whatever way you can get your shoulder muscles relaxed so they're not hunching and they're not tensing. They're actually just nice and relaxed and then you're actually just massaging your fingers. In my, I do that kind of a scooping movement there. That's what I do. And again, in terms of depth, I would be going um, or in terms of how heavy I would go, I would usually go about a three out of a 10 here. Okay, so not, not heavy, heavy, but there's a bit of pressure there, okay? And I would scoop around the whole armpit area. And I mean, sometimes that would actually take people three or four minutes to get all of the armpit area, particularly if your armpit is kind of clogged, okay? When there's been a lot of um, maybe extra fluid going through this armpit, because the other one has been knocked out of action. You know, sometimes it can be quite thickened and it mightn't, you know, you can really feel, I call it gloopy, but I, I don't know if that's a dictionary word. But anyway, um, it's just a feeling that things aren't, aren't nice and hollow and working right, okay? Not necessarily that there's any disease activity or anything like that. Um, so I would do that, okay, for three to four minutes. And then, if you your other armpit is also free, hasn't had surgery, hasn't had um, radiotherapy or anything, you can also do that other armpit. So put me on pause now and just do the other armpit. If you have had <clears throat> some treatment to this armpit, but you feel that there's pockets of fluid, it's okay to do a bit of kind of, it's, it's kind of like a skin massage where you're trying to actually massage that armpit and you're trying to massage away from the armpit, either towards the front of your chest, down towards your torso or out behind like that, okay? So you can do a little bit of gentler massage on that armpit where you've actually had the treatment, okay? But really what we want to work on is your deep lymphatics. So the next one I'm gonna to come to is your tummy lymphatics. And this is where we get to talk about the diaphragm, right? It's a great muscle, it's kind of, um, to your lymphatic system, what your heart is, to your circulatory system. So when you breathe correctly, in and out, when you breathe, well, when I say correctly, when you breathe with your lower half of your lungs, it really activates your, your diaphragm, which pulls your lungs downwards into your abdomen, basically opens the space there, increases the vacuum so that the air can actually be pulled in. So basically that downward action of your diaphragm into your abdomen when you breathe in and then it releases when you breathe out. So it's like a... 
Now, <clears throat> I wasn't doing that correctly because if you actually saw me when I was breathing in, there was a lot of shoulder activity there. It's because I was trying to get these higher to show you. But actually, when you do a correct diaphragmatic breath, you actually shouldn't have any shoulder activity or at least very little. And it's mainly coming from down here. So let's do that again. Deep breathing. And out. Breathing into your lower ribs, really important. And out. And again. So deep breathing is really important because it activates your diaphragm, which actually helps to squeeze some of the deep lymphatics in your tummy. <clears throat> now you can also do some self massage on your tummy and we do that in conjunction with the deep breathing. So we're going to pick a line down from where our ribs meet and we're going to go right down as far as the pubic bone. I'm going to have to turn this. Okay. So basically what we're going to do now is we're going to actually work the diaphragm along a center line from the basis where your ribs meet in the middle there right down to the pubic bone. Okay. Um, so I'm going to put the hands in the middle there just for my Ribs are separating, but I have enough room to place a hand. Big breath in. And when I'm breathing out, I'm pushing my hands into my abdomen. So I'm squeezing them that direction as if I'm trying to squeeze them out the other side, out the back of me. Okay, so big breath in and out. Three in that position, in and out. Then move down, I have a new section here. On, for me, this is now nearly over my belly button. Big breath in. And as I'm breathing out, really pushing out my hands. This is actually easier to do lying down. And again, second breath. And out. And again, I'll show you from the side. Deep breath in. And out. Okay, and then you do the same, just very lowest part of your abdomen, not quite as low as your pubic bone, but, but almost, okay? And then basically, you're gonna do the same there. Okay, so that was the middle section, three breaths, three breaths, three breaths. Now move over to the outside. Now you'd have to move a small bit down because when you go straight out to the side, you're gonna hit ribs. You need to be below ribs. Okay, but still kind of on your abdomen, but slightly to the left, should I say. Um, and doing the same three breaths, three breaths, three breaths with the compression on the external when you're exhaling, and three breaths there. Okay, now I usually get people as well to do um, a groin massage and a bit of massage for the nose around the lower abdomen. Okay, so the next area we're going to work is the lower abdomen and the groin nodes, okay? Now, the first, um, so we've done a bit of that with our deep breathing, but the next section um, is going to be the external iliac nodes. So if you put your fingers to what people call the hip bones, they're not actually your hip bones, they're your anterior superior iliac spines, actually, for your information. But anyway, put your hands to what people call the hip bones and then literally just come inside of them. So just inside, on the inside of those, there's a whole rake of, of, of nodes. And I normally get people just to do a little bit of rotational massage. Kind of, so there is my bone. And just inside that area, I'm going to massage that. And then I'm going to go down a little bit more, 10 little rotations and then down kind of nearly into my groin and the same on the other side so you're going from that where that hip bone is just into the inside not to the outside but to the inside and you're just massaging 10 times putting the pressure back again through you okay and down towards the groin and then we eventually get to the groin nodes so um, not mean to mean to be funny <laughs> laughing at my pictures <clears throat> but really this is 
I suppose the knicker line or the bikini line. It's along this line, but all the nodes are in your groin. Okay, so I'm going to just draw. So all the nodes are along there, along there, along there, and the same on the other side. So you need to actually get your finger in and actually massage like we were doing before, massaging round in 10 circles, move lower down, 10 circles, move lower down, 10 circles, and right in towards the pubic bone there. And then you have one groin done, and then you can do the other groin. So that is the basic uh, basics of the, um, the kind of the self massage. And obviously if you have had surgery in this area, you might have to make modifications for where your scars are. You wouldn't massage on anything really without um, you know, getting previous, previous advice about it, particularly if it was in the last six months. If it's a very old scar, well then it should be okay to go as long as there's no pain. And um, yeah, so basically if you have had radiotherapy or you don't have nodes in one of your groins, just do the other one, all right? Um, and like I was explaining in the armpit, if you have had um, treatment to that groin area and radiotherapy, but there is some um, localized pockets of fluid, it's okay to do a lighter massage to, to kind of move that out of the way. But that's the basics of keeping your deep lymphatics in good working order. And then you can add in your, um, your kind of localized, um, you know, what they call the SLD, the self lymphatic drainage, which is kind of like a massage technique for the individual arm or leg. So I'll just do another video um, on the self technique for the arm to be added on top of the deep lymphatic drainage and then the same for the leg. And then hopefully you'll join me for a yoga class um, for the last in the series. So talk soon.